Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, I'm going to showcase what I think is the number one best deck this format. It is an amazing hybrid combination between Pendulums and Warriors. Combine the two, what do you get? Ignites, baby, let's go. 37 Ignite cards. This is not like a Warrior deck where you play like Inferno with some Ignite. This is a gigantic Ignite engine. I'm going to showcase duels on Patreon. So if you guys want to check the duels out, sign up on Patreon down below. They now have 15% off annually. Moving forward on every single YouTube video that I make, I will be providing an extra, an extra supplemental YouTube video for every single YouTube video that I make on my Patreon, showcasing duels of every single deck we're going to talk about for the next forever. So go check it out. With that being said, if you guys are ready for the greatest Ignite deck football of all time, smash the subscribe button and let's go, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna say this once, I'm gonna say it very clearly. Ignites are the best deck right now. Very simply. With the release of all the Infernoble cards and Isol being on the search of scale, Infernoble Ignites are crazy. I'm not talking about Ign I'm not talking about Infernoble with like five Ignite cards. I'm talking about Ignites. 37 Ignites in your deck. 37 Ignites in your deck with some Infernoble cards in there too. Ignites are so inherently broken that this deck allows you to play through any hand trap. It's ridiculous. At this point, normal normal Inferno Bulls, they don't do like, you know, like your normal some, and they're, they're kind of flimsy in my opinion. Yeah, they're good versus hand traps. Eh, okay, but Ignite Inferno Bull has something that no deck in the game right now has, and that's called Pendulum Summoning. Baby, let's go. So the idea here is that you Pendulum Summon and you never use your normal summon until after you see what hand traps or interruptions your opponent has. The idea is to always save your normal summon. So here, we're gonna Ignite, or we're gonna Pendulum Summon, Sublimation Knight, and Ignite Veteran. The idea behind this deck is that it is so good versus hand traps, and so good going second, and drawing five or six Ignites is just an FDK. Your opponent can't do anything. You literally just Pendulum two Ignites from hand, you make Isolt, and there's nothing your opponent can do. You save your, your normal summon until something Ignites can search at the very end. Ignites in the scale can search Renaud, Oliver, Gear Freed, Sublimation Knight, which is a one card Isolt. It could search a bunch of really broken Fire Warriors. And just imagine how broken the deck would be with Electromite. This is literally the deck I'm using right now. If there was a YCS tomorrow, I'm using this deck. This deck's ridiculous. It's better than Pure and Demon. I'm not joking. So at this point, we use Sublimation Knight effect to equip Squeak Knight. Sweet Knight special itself as a warrior, and we go Isolde in number one. No one negates the first effect of Isolde. So if you ever don't use your pen summon, now you have an extra Ignite Crusader in your hand, which is a, a half an extender. You draw at your, at your combo at once. So if you draw an Ignite, you play 37 Ignites. You could play. Dorendo searches an Ignite as well. So Ignites are just too good, and it's the best follow up. Now, at this point, all right, Isolde gets hand trapped. Normally, if Isolde is second effect gets hand trapped, Infernobles are, are a little, uh, they can still play, they could Nibiru, uh, they could go for a uh, uh, Needle Fiber right after, maybe they could put like a Gear Free first or something, but he, this is something that Ignites have to offer that Infernobles just cannot do. At this point, I can use my Ignites, if I want to, to search a Gear Free, and then Pendulum Summon anything, and go, uh, not Pendulum Summon, Special Summon, and go Needle Fiber, but I'm going to do a big brain play here, I'm going to go Dorendo to search Roland, Ren Renaud, sorry, and Renaud, is gonna get DDR to my hand, the same DDR that Isolde sent. You do not need to send Smoke Grenade right away. You only need to send the one Phoenix Blade and the card that you don't have for uh, Renault to search. At that point, uh, now we're gonna link these two, synchro these two into Formula Synchron. You need a level two in your combo, so it's just an easy way to do it uh, for not Gamba. You can also, at this point, if we didn't have access to the, the Squeak Knight, we would use both of our Ignites to actually normal summon Gamba. We would search Gemba, use Isolde effect to bring Link Ross, and then uh, play around hand traps by putting up a Herald and a Needle Fiber for the Herald to protect the Needle Fiber. Uh, that's that's so, so crazy. Like, it's just so crazy. So at this point, we played it through Ash already, right? So now we draw one from Formula Synchro, and we're going to go Link Ross. If they don't use their a hand trap on Link Ross, I'm going to drop a Herald, and they're fucked. So you know what? Let's give them a Veiler. So they, they are an Imperm. They, they Imperm the Link Ross here, okay? Imperm Link Cross. Oh, fuck. So sad. Okay, what will I ever do now? Did he just Imperm Link Cross? Okay, well, alright, my turn now. I'm going to use the Ignites here to search for Gear Freed. 
I'm gonna now use Gearfried. If he didn't do anything there, I dropped Herald. And if he didn't do anything on the Herald, I'm dropping a Gearfried and then going Needle Fiber. Playing around Nibiru, Imperm, Nibiru, Valor, all that. At this point, I'm gonna go Gearfried. And you know what? Before I get a token, he's gonna Nibiru me. He, if, if I don't put up a, a to, if I don't put up a, an equip, he'll, he Nibiru's right there. I'm gonna give him a Nibiru too. I'm giving him a Nibiru. This deck can play through Nibiru, Valor, and Ash. This deck can play through Nibiru, Imperm, and Ash, baby. This deck could play through it all. So what's his next? My next play? Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, search for Oliver. I don't know. Let's special Oliver. Th this shit's easy. It's easy. This deck's just insane. This deck is ridiculous. It plays through like every hand trap. So this is played through a Ash, Imprim, and Nibiru. And there's a reason why I said this is the best deck right now. Then we're going to DDR for, for Gear Freed. And then... We're gonna play through a fourth hand trap because now if they hand trap the needle fiber, the gear free is gonna hand, uh, negate it. This is playing through four negates. I'm playing through four hand traps right here. I'm playing through four hand traps, bro. I'm playing through four hand traps, bro. Oh my god. Then you go needle fiber into Oridon, into needle fiber to O1, into Oridon, Oridon into Dust Spot 1. Then you're gonna go to Power Tool Dragon. Powerful Dragon Search, Living Boss, or DDR, doesn't matter which one, they all accomplish the same result. Then you go into Colt Wing by tributing the Power Tool and the token. At that point, Colt Wing effect will trigger some of two tokens and a 01. Then we go into a Herald. At this point, we use a Living Fossil to special the Formula Synchron or the Gemba, depending on what we use. And then we go into our Synchro 5, which is Metal Mart, or sorry, uh, uh, Synchro 5 into Roland, use Roland effect in the end phase. Then we go into our Charles. End phase goes, we play through three interruptions, he has a fourth hand trap in his hand, and he literally didn't do fuck all. Four hand traps, bro. But let's just say three just for argument's sake here. So he has three hand traps, and uh, yeah, what's he gonna do with three hand traps? Now he has three other broken cards in his hand. The other three cards in his hand are broken. Imagine the three most broken cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, okay? Like, imagine Servant Mastery Desires, or something like that. Okay, no problem. All right, uh, effect. Uh, uh this, this the normal board is, is these by the way the normal board is double herald uh double herald charles and gear freed but uh he hand trapped us three times so unfortunately we have one herald now fuck unfortunate also you get a pop with charles smoke grenade effect i'm gonna send the best card in your hand to the grit to the uh, banish zone because herald will banish it and then there's gonna be two cards left in his hand one random and one one that i know and then one that he uh, top decks so what the heck is two cards gonna do versus a gear freed a herald and a charles pop I don't like Yu-Gi-Oh has come to this point where the triple hand trap doesn't stop this deck. That's insane. I'm not gonna showcase you guys the deck profile. If you guys want to see duels with this deck, go check it out on my Patreon. This is legitimately the best deck in this format. It's better than Pure and Demon. This is the best way to play pendulums right now. And no, it's not no Inferno Bowl. This is pendulums, baby. I'm playing 37 Ignites and Isolde searches the Ignites. Now imagine when Electric comes back, baby! The deck nuts! Let me show you guys the deck profile right now. This is the deck profile. As I said, you max out on every single Ignite possible. The reason why this deck is good is that you have a Pendulum Summon. We didn't even normal summon for that combo. Can you believe that? We literally did not normal summon for that entire combo, leaving the ability and versatility for the Ignites to search any normal summon you need. Are you missing a two monsters? You search Sublimation Knight, and Sublimation Knight can search you the level, especially level one. Are you missing maybe a card in graveyard, get O gear? Maybe you're missing a tuner, you get Oliver. Maybe you're missing a level 2 specific tuner to make Link Ross and Herald. Then you get Gamba. That's the beauty of this. You get Gear Free. Ignite Search. All these broken fire warriors. Unfortunately, there's not many other broken fire warriors you could play. You don't even play Connector in this. And there's a specific reason why. If your opponent hand traps the second effect of Isolde, which if they have a brain, they're going to use their hand trap right then and there. You don't use your normal summon ever because you pendulum summon to make Isolde. Hence, after that, you use Link Ross uh, with the Isolde. They will not blind Imperm or Valor because they think, okay, uh, you know, there's no other card there. Then uh, it's just clearly a, uh, just a random negate because if he has an Oliver, he goes Needle Fiber. I should save my hand trap for the Needle Fiber. Yeah, that's, that's what I should do. Yeah, yeah. That's what I should do. Shut the fuck up because what you're going to do instead is you're going to use the Ignite to search Gemba. And then you normal summon the Gemba. In a world where Gemba is not the... Imagine a world where Gemba is not a brick. Gemba is not a brick in this deck because it's your specific normal summon. 
Can you believe that? So they hand trap Isolde, you use the Ignite to search for Gemba. You normal summon Gemba, Link Ross, Marsha Herald, then you get a Herald before the Needle Fiber. And Connector will never resolve. Your opponent will hand trap the Connector instantly, and then you're left with a dead light warrior which as you see there's no flint lady there's no unexpected die there's no red layer i don't need extenders that are non-tuners the idea behind this deck is that your extenders are your pendulum summon so you pendulum summon make use of the most broken mechanic in Yu-Gi-Oh, pendulum summon make a soul day save your normal summon and then you search whatever you need for your normal summon that's why connector is not good in ignite version there's other ignite versions which utilize like 10 ignites and like eight ignites and just search the scale you're missing with the soul day that's not how we're playing this version here we're pendulum summoning right away then we we'll use the ignites to search whatever we're missing and typically you have an extra ignite in your hand that you don't need so the isold effect that adds the other ignite you use it to search anything you want isold is effect basically means uh yeah if you have another random ignite in your hand which you normally do because it's all they really only needs one celebration knight to do the combo or whatever then uh you're good then you uh, have another extender you have a like, ten thousand extenders in this deck i fucking love this deck like honestly from the bottom of my heart this is the best way to play not just pendulums but any Yu-Gi-Oh deck right now i'll explain the theory behind this side decking as well you see the 14 kaijus and think what the fuck trip are you stupid no i'm a fucking genius i'll explain why you're playing these kaijus there's a reason why and you're gonna think of next level genius after this anyways so deck profile you play 24 ignites you play three summoners on three painful tr decision 30 ignites it gets better you play more durendo searches ignites you play durendo for the specific the only fucking reason i'm playing infernobles are the fact that the whole engine searches ignites so durendo search ignite heritage search ignite that's what's so crazy about this deck the fact and rota uh, rota ain't searching anything but an ignite you need your pendulum summon because after you pendulum summon, the scales search the extender that you need, depending on the interruption your opponent has. And if your opponent, if your opponent doesn't have hand traps, they're fucked. If your opponent does have hand traps, they're fucked. Because they just hand loop themselves for you. It's crazy. Anyways, triple sublimation knight is the best normal summon in this deck. And the best pendulum summon in this deck. Because you pendulum one sublimation knight, and you get squeak knight under it to summon itself. You play triple oak gear. Uh, the reason behind Ogier is you can pendulum summon it and send the card you need right away and then you could search for node and then get it right away it's good but there's just no other uh fire warrior you can play uh that's one card is sold day you can play stratos if you want which is cool because if you normal stratos you can pendulum the second stratos and pop back row or search a third stratos so that's cool as well triple oliver triple renaud it's good if you hard draw an oliver renaud that means ignites don't need to search it that means ignites can search the gemba in case of hand traps or search the gear freed stuff like that it's always good if you draw these the one gear freed is the, the reason behind it all gear actually does not send gear freed all gear sends oliver or renaud or durendal uh, and then you use the then you use the renaud to search the oliver or the or the durendal you never actually send the gear freed gear freed is searched via the ignites you don't want more gear freed can actually brick you if you are, don't have access to the to the equip spells so you, you i don't even want the gear freed because it also clogs the scale sorry it clogs the field clogs the field uh so now your your herald is always up on the field to protect your needle fiber and you don't care if it's all day gets interrupted you don't give a fuck you don't give a fuck if your link cross gets interrupted the only card you care about to resolve is needle fiber needle fiber must resolve so the point of this deck is your opponent must negate this soul day they must negate the link ross they must negate the gear free they must negate the ten thousand special summons you have it's just ridiculous how good this is and then you still win uh then you play two living fossil two ddr you need to play four special summon cards if you were to hard draw one living fossil and use a living fossil then you want to be able to search the, the ddr so it's good to play uh, uh two of each of them uh gamba like i said is not a brick in this the first 34 cards help you break boards okay the first 34 cards help you break boards the last six don't necessarily help you break it but the gamba is the least brick because you treat gamba if you hard draw gamba you normal summon the gamba and the beauty of 60 cards and ignites if you hard draw colt wing okay in 60 cards if you hard draw colt wing you simply make the Orodon and you pendulum summon the Colt Wing. So then Colt Wing's effect will trigger because it's special summon, summoning two tokens. So in this version, Colt Wing does not brick because, well, you'd rather not draw it, it's still a brick per se. But all you do if you draw Colt Wing is you make sure to save your pendulum summon for Colt Wing. And if you hard draw Gemba, you make sure to normal summon it uh, to, for the Link Ross because you build your whole deck to normal summon it because this whole is always getting hand trapped. So you can still drop the Herald before the Needle Fiber. If you hard draw O1, 
you make it so you do needle fiber a little bit early, you do needle fiber before there's a herald under it. So you save your normal summon to normal 01. Also, if your opponent, let's say, hand traps everything, you save your normals, if you hard draw 01, you save your normal summon, so you 01 at that point becomes a Oliver. The last video, the last commentary I just showed you guys did not have a normal summon. So if you hard draw 01, you normal you instead of you wasting your Oliver, you normal summon 01 and make needle uh needle fiber and the needle fiber will special out uh whatever uh, uh, it'll special out like a la, uh, Gemba and then at Gemba's point that's when you could do some extenders with Renaud uh, to make Marcher and then that's when you make the Oridon, uh just in retrospect. Also you can just special it from your hand so it doesn't matter. Squeak Knight's mandatory for the Sublim Knight. You could equip Sublim uh, Squeak Knight from hand. Hard drawing 01 and Squeak Knight doesn't matter. You can just special it from your hand. So they're not bricks per se. Uh, obviously, you'd rather not draw them though. But going second, you slide out the Smoke Grenade. And Phoenix Blade, yeah, okay, you don't really want to... You don't really want to see any of the bottom six. But in this deck, they brick less. So all these bricks that you play normally, just don't brick in 60 cards. They're like, not that bad. Kaiju's now. I can't wait to explain this part. If you guys look at the meta right now. Infernobles and Nana. Smoke Grenade and three interruptions. One of which is Harold, Charles... And Savage Dragon, correct? So, if you were to hard draw two Kaijus and four Ignites, just an example, two Kaijus and four Ignites, let alone three three Ignites and like and like an Inferno Book card, just say like four Ignites, that's fine. Four Ignites and two Kaijus. Well, your opponent's gonna see that they, okay, well, I'm gonna get rid of one Kaiju. I'm gonna get rid of one Kaiju, definitely. Okay, no fucking problem. So in that situation, sorry, not Kaiju. I didn't get rid of, you have two Kaijus and four Inferno, or four uh, uh, Ignites. Your opponent will think two Kaijus, I'm gonna get rid of a Warrior, so you can't play. So he's gonna get rid of one of my Ignites. Now I have three Ignites and I have two Kaijus. Well, you activate Kaiju, to, uh, you activate Kaiju to destroy Charles, and then you tribute summon, your uh, special summon the other Kaiju, and attack into the Herald. Now all they have is a sorry ass Savage Dragon, where you just, Activate both scales, active summon another uh, ignite, and you do your full combo. And your opponent can't do any. He can't do anything. What's he gonna do? Uh, active after that. You uh, see, so have one uh, one kaiju on the field, one ignite on the field. His uh, your opponent's field only a savage dragon left as interruption. You use your ignite and scale to, to add a sublimation knight. If he negates it, you just use the other ignite. No more summon sublimation knight. What's he gonna do? Negate it. Special squeak knight. Then you just keep playing from there. It's ridiculous how good this deck is. It's actually insane. That you continue playing through anything. So double Kaiju outs the Infernal board. One Kaiju outs the Dragon Link board. Kaijus are insane right now. V a lot of people are playing Virtual World. They a lot of people want to save the the VFD for Imperm or Gamma. So or, or something like that. So you just Kaiju them. Uh, yes, they could always shotgun it, which is why I'd say this is a bad matchup against uh, against uh, Virtual World. It, 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 only if they shotgun the VFD because this deck just can't beat VFD. But if they don't shotgun the VFD, you destroy them. And it's uh, such a great matchup versus everything else. Now, the one thing you could say uh, against Ka uh, Kai against uh, Winda decks, you just destroy it with Kaiju, or you just attack with Cavalier with 2400 attack, uh, bait out the uh, Alistair, obviously, first. Very easy to do this. Uh, next, against back row decks. This deck blitzkrieg's through back row. The only bad matchup that this deck has is any Floodgates. This deck has a tough matchup against any deck that plays Spell and Trap Floodgates. So... Again, if you face one of those decks anyways, you normally shit players play uh, Floodgate decks, like stun decks, so you just destroy them. Uh, and, and this deck, if you play a deck, let's say you're playing Eldritch, for example, and they don't open any Floodgate, you auto-win. You don't need, like, Heavy Storm or Duster or fucking Feather Duster, fucking Twin Twister, Lightning Storm. Fuck all those cards. What do you need them for? This deck, I just showed you guys a combinatorial where this deck played through four hand traps, one of which was Nibiru. You don't think this deck could play through... A fucking Conquistador and a fucking Aquero and a fucking Imperm and a fucking Valor. It's the same shit. Those are the exact same interruptions, except you get a sixth card going second. Do you have any idea what this deck could do with six cards? With five cards, I played through four interruptions and put up three negates. Imagine with six cards, okay? It's like fucking math, bro. It's just fucking crazy. Anyways, I love this deck. I could talk about this deck forever. So before I continue rambling about my fucking favorite deck this format, we're going to stop the video right here. If you guys want to see duels about this deck, check out my Patreon down below. This is 100% the best deck this format. I fucking love this deck. I'll continue playing it until all these cards get banned. Uh, when Electromite comes back on the next format, imagine how even more broken this deck would be. 
they'll probably ban smoke grenade, maybe they'll ban link cross or needle fiber. I don't give a flying fuck, because then you slide in a very sexy Electromite right in there. You can play a cro one Chronograph for Electromite to send, and then this deck just does so much more. It's unreal how good this deck could be with Electromite. You can even go is uh, Appalooza before, after the after you go Isolde and Electrum. So this deck is just, oh my god. Give me my Electromite, baby. Oh god, I can't, I can't wait. Uh, anyways, that's the video. If you guys want a pendulum training, make sure to sign it down below. We do two hours of pendulum training for only, for only $30. One-on-one -on -one coaching with the pen god. So go check it out in the description. Also, if you guys want, uh, you guys gotta take advantage of the discount down below while they last. And lastly, if you guys want the best play match in the game, make sure to go to trimgame.com for the best play match in the game. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Yeah.